everyone, it's Fifi here. Welcome back to our channel. It's um, the second time I filmed a talking video in a long while, so let's get started. Um, we just came back from, not just, like two weeks ago, came back from our vacation. And um, we're not gonna go on another vacation anytime soon, so I won't be putting any money inside. Um, gifts, we're gonna put one dollar, uh, Christmas is over, I've handed out all the gifts and everything, so there's no need to rush to put lots of money in gifts. Um, the next time I'll be using this, it's probably sometime in February, maybe for a birthday. Um, for digital, it's two dollars. I think I already mentioned it in my previous video, but I'm saving up for my new phone. Um, I'm excited to get it if I have enough money. I don't think I have enough money yet, but we'll get there soon. Okay, savings, it's $1. Speaking of savings and money, um, I actually got an extra $11 that I'll be using for games this week. Um, someone actually bought my anime savings and my mummy and I's um, our Once Upon a Savings Challenge book. Thank you so much for purchasing it. There's still, to whoever who purchased it, and there's still um, a couple more books that has not been sold out yet. So if you would like to buy, to purchase or buy, please go to the Etsy shop and, and um, look for it there. There'll probably still be some more. So toys, we're gonna put one dollar. I'm gonna color this and I'm gonna ask my mummy to um, fold it for you but but before that I have to tell you that toys is already fully funded so I'm gonna be putting less money inside I already have enough money for to send my toy donkey to the hospital and it's I'm probably gonna send it send it him there at around next year February I don't know what date exactly my mummy hasn't told me yet but sometime around then Okay, so I'm going to ask my mommy to fast forward this. Um, since I don't have any more $1 apples or strawberries, we're just going to put a $1 near this macaron over here and colour it in instead. Okay, so I'm going to ask her to fast forward now. Okay, so I'm done colouring. We'll say this macaron is a mixed berry flavoured where there's like strawberry, grape, blackberry all in, in it. I like mixed berry flavours because I don't need to choose what flavour I want like strawberry, grapes, um, all the berries are just in there so I don't, so I don't have to have a hard time picking. Um, for books is, um, hang on. Okay, for books is two dollars. So, uh, my mummy actually told me I couldn't get any more new books until I cleared my shelf because I've got a lot of books there and there probably isn't space to buy new books now. But um, I'm already planning to sell a couple books. So I'll be able to get a new book soon the next time we go out. Maybe this Friday, maybe tomorrow on Friday. I'm not too sure. But I know I won't have a lot of chance once, once school starts. And oh, by the way, my school, this is the last week of the school holiday. I'm sad to be going back to school. But I'm happy to be seeing my friends again. 
Okay, so we won't be putting any money in stationery. I think there's already quite a lot of money in there. Okay, for snacks, we're gonna put the five dollars. So, um, I I told you in my previous video, but you might not have watched it or something. But my, I'm saving up actually for a. Uh, a bottle of honey that my mummy does not want to buy because she thinks it's too expensive. It's about a hundred dollars, but I really like the honey, so I'm saving up to buy it. Okay, so um, we're moving on to games. I have something I want to show you. So um, we're gonna stop two of the games we are currently playing. So we have two new games and one new one. You can already see the envelope picking up over here. Um. I'll show you the new game first. Okay, so it's actually this mermaid um, game from Moonstone Budgets. So my mummy will link her. At, my my mummy will link her down in the descriptions below. So it's actually this mermaid board game. I haven't. I, oh, the board game's over there. I'll um go get it now. So hang on a minute. So I'm back, and this is the board game. So basically how you play it is you roll the dice and you move, saving the amount you land on. So um, $6, $5 and maybe even $4 might be a bit too much for me. So I'll see my situation then but I might cut it, the cut the amount in half um, or whatever. I'll see or maybe just put my remaining money inside if this is the last game I'm playing. So whenever you land on one of the shells, you actually pick one of these shell cards. I think we're supposed to pick it according to the shell you land on, but I find it a little complicated, so I'm just gonna like randomly pick one. I'll probably be playing this game later on. I got um, two more new games to show you, like I said. So we're gonna put these cards back into the envelope for now. As you can see, the printer ink was was low, so it caused like a few streaks inside. But I think it it looks nice because it it adds to like the sea theme because it looks like the ripples in the sea. So we're gonna put the board game here for now. Let me just put it back in. Okay, so the games we're gonna stop playing um, for now. Maybe maybe I'll be, I'll um, start again next year. Is my follow the dreams from two sister bees um i will stop this from now and we're gonna replace this with okay so actually we're gonna replace we're gonna take these two savings challenges they're from fun savings challenge and we bought these on her etsy shop and my mommy will um link the shop on down in the descriptions below so we're actually going to place the Sweetie's Savings Challenge. Uh, oh, okay, I'll take out the money in here first. We'll reallocate them later. I've got to take them out, to plan to take them out. So we're going to, the placeholder's a bit too big. Okay. So we're going to um, reallocate them in one of, the envelopes in one of these binders okay so the money i'm gonna put it here for now later i'll take them this one also belongs here and we're gonna put this here so this challenge from moonstone budgets is basically is basically um you can choose the amount you you wish to save and probably just put a little tick here or highlight it or whatever mm -hmm. So we're gonna place it here. I think I think the colors are really pretty, right? So okay, the next game we're gonna stop is actually I considered tic tac roll, but it's great for when I need small number, small amounts ranging from one, two, or three. Um, so I'm gonna keep this here for now. We are gonna we're gonna stop playing open the gift i've been playing it since i started this games binder and i think it's time to stop it so
So I actually only have three dollars in here. Again, we'll be reallocating them later, and we're gonna we're gonna um ex we're gonna um fill in this envelope with this so with this super cute um puppies puppies um board game. Also from also from the fun savings challenge it was these two um um the sweets challenge was also was in a dig both of them were in like a huge bundle it was like all digital downloads um it, so there was like a lot of digital downloads there so i actually only chose these two but when maybe liz and les's beaver challenge or something finishes i will choose another digital download there to replace it so it's the bot is this bot game is similar to the mermaid one um, you roll the dice and there are puppies so when you when you land on a puppy you turn back and there's like a legend over here so that you can follow it um, I think this puppy is so cute right like it's riding a bike and this chihuahua got stuck is it a chihuahua I think it's a chihuahua it got stuck in a teacup I'm not sure what dog it is exactly so yeah we're going to be replacing open the gift with this cute puppy savings challenge Okay, so mm, let's start by playing my Busy Bee cards as usual. So Busy Bee cards. Busy Bee cards were from Two Sister Bees. She actually gave it to me. She actually, this was actually Happy Meal. And I was so happy when she gave this to me. I wasn't expecting it. Um, it was so nice of her to give me and my mommy these. We, we, we were actually planning to um, share these cards but um, I don't think my mummy needs them now maybe she'll start them next year I'm not too sure okay anyway let's pick a card okay tiny money save two dollars the, the way Jen on two sister bees played this was as actually drawing a card from every envelope to you know give the envelope a little more money but um i don't really have that much money every week so i decided um drawing one card every week was the best option best idea okay so um next let's go to no match Next, let's go to no match. Um, if you watched my previous videos, even those where I wasn't talking, you'll know that we have to um, shift everything out during no match. Um, I might ask my mummy to forward this part. I don't know. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna arrange these cards first we're going to shuffle them because when we pl played it last last week we might have found some pairs and just like put them put them um, back in pairs so we might put like two of the same ones next to each other and easy to spot So we're going to push them a little higher. Um, okay. Um, this is like a gumball machine. Um, we're actually supposed to save $10, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to add a 1 plus 0 if I manage to get this pair. Um, um, that's, that's not a match try again usually I try until I get one pair and if the number is really low then maybe I'd go again oh it's right here okay that was fast it was this, this is three dollars I'm glad I still have my one dollar coin if not it would involve a lot of complicated switching and math which I don't like so $3 is actually one of the highest numbers there. I'm not sure if there's a $4. I know there's one where you have to roll your dice and there's one where 
you have to decide the amount yourself but I often get this three dollars so it's one of the highest numbers and so I'm not playing it again unless I have like some money left over and I want to do this okay I'm not sure if I will okay anyway so let's try one of our new challenges um actually I'm very excited to try the puppy one so let's go with the puppy one first okay so um I think for the challenge I'm just gonna put it here um first oh actually I need a paper clip to play this one from tokens I actually um have one over here so yeah oops Okay, so I'm gonna I might switch this out later with a nicer paper clip, but I don't have any with me right now. So I'm gonna use this first. So my mommy just handed this clip to me. It's a diamond paper clip, which I think is really nice. Um she gave these paper clips out like as a freebie. So we're gonna start over here. I'm not gonna pin it because we're gonna move. I'll just pin it maybe at the end when I finish this challenge because I'm probably only going to roll like once or twice depending on what the amount is so I'll clip it there and start again next time I'm not sure how I'm going to do it I haven't exactly planned um okay we need a dice for this oh wait not a 12 sided dice we don't want to get 12 on our first move and move the entire um and go to the end in our first move okay that's one I got I landed on the puppy okay it's this one so you gaze at sunflowers save five dollars to move forward okay five dollars is a lot um i don't have a one dollar coin with me also and as i told you i am not a big fan of switching out the money oh actually i do have some of the coins over here um but like i said uh i don't think i'm gonna put five dollars in I'll put two dollars for now. Inside. Okay, I'm. I want to get to go through most of the games today. All our new ones, at least. All. Oh wait, yeah, our paper clip. I forgot about my paper. So, like I said, I wanted. I want to go through all the new games today. So, I don't want to save too much money in any one of them until I complete the new games. Okay, next new game. Uh, we have the sweets challenge. Okay, actually how much money do we have left right now? We have $8. I think that's a good amount. Okay, so for the sweets challenge, we get to decide how much um, I'm not too sure what they mean by color and save. Um, I'm not. I don't know how, what they're different by. So, like how, how how different they are. So I'm just gonna fill this in. Okay, I have a pen with me here. Um, I have a pen here. So I'm gonna do. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Let's. <coughs> Let's go with two dollars because two dollars. I mean, over here we have two dollar notes, so it's mo the most convenient. Okay, let's put two dollars per piece. Okay. Um. Then we have. I'm not sure. I think I'll take it. Okay. Um. This is a macaron. I love mac. I think this is a macaron. Yeah, I think so. Macarons don't usually have th these leaves here, do they? So I love eating macarons. Um, I don't get to eat them very often because they are sweet. They have a lot of sugar. So, uh, so uh, I think this savings challenge is very cute because there's all sorts of candy, everything that I like here. Uh, macarons. I'm not sure whether this is a pastry or a lollipop. It's sort of pastry coloured, but it looks like a lollipop with a stick. So anyway, they have donuts, ice creams, chocolates, cookies, cakes, and cupcakes too. Oh yes, we have to put our two dollars in, don't we? They'll be cheating if we don't. So, oh anyway, 
um, yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Was it? Yes, it was yesterday. So, um, yesterday, my mummy and I actually made M and M sprinkle cookies. I wanted to put M and M and sprinkles inside the cookies, but my mummy thought it was too sweet, especially since the recipe told her to put a lot of sugar, brown sugar and um white sugar, white sugar. So, um. So it was very sweet. So we only put M and M's and sprinkles on top. They, they, they ended up spreading a lot. So while we initially wanted cookies around this size, we got cookies this size instead, with two or three M and M's on each and a lot of sprinkles. They were really nice and actually not as sweet as we expected them to be. Okay, so um, we got six dollars. Um, if we play Liz's Beaver Challenge, we won't. Um, have a lot of we only have six dollars and five dollars i don't think we'll be able to play this after our new uh, mermaid game afterwards so let's go to the mermaid game first see how much money um we use for it and then we'll maybe go back to tic tac roll with the amount of money we have but i'll probably end up with an iou anyway so okay so um I need a lot of space for this one, so we'll move everything to the side. Keep the dice. Um, I don't. I don't think we need a pen. Uh, okay. So let's pick up the cards first. Okay. So, uh, like I said, we'll just draw a random card, right? Because it's too confusing to be picking out cards right now. So, rubber band, we'll put it here first. It's like a little tina here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the whole board. I think you can. Okay, so let's roll the dice first. Three, one, two, three. That's four dollars. Um, this is laminated, so I can keep using it after I cross off. So, four dollars. Uh, I think it's a good start but I um let's see mm, I, I think we're gonna half the amount for now it's our first roll anyway we can go again and we have four dollars left so um, well, I'm gonna put it in the envelope head first okay let's go again three oh we landed on a shell okay um Put the dice here so we know which shell we're on. I don't think this one needs a pin to identify. Maybe if it's a shelf, I'll just put a small a shell. I'll just put like a small tick tick or cross. Actually, do I need to cross out the shells? I think I'll cross out the shells too because I think that's how the game's supposed to be played. So we'll draw a card. It says move back one space, which is five dollars. Okay, um, let's see. We've been putting two dollars in, so hmm. Let me think. How about we put three dollars in this one, regardless of how much we need to change. How much money we need to change? We got a two two dollar notes here. Okay, so um, the beaver has the beaver game has lots of coins. Let's switch out, and we have three dollars. Okay, so three dollars going in. Okay, we have one dollar left. I'm not too sure what we can use one dollar. Four. Um, um, so next week we'll continue here. For one dollar, I think we'll just play tic tac row. I might end up getting an IOU of two dollars at most, but I think it's okay. Hopefully, next week I won't have like a shortage of money or anything. Put it here first. And my rug bend. Okay, 
see. Hang on. Why do I have five? Oh yes, because I wrote twice. I thought I only wrote once. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna go to Tic Tac Crawl. Um, right here. Number one. Uh, my mommy plays it that um the number she rolls she saves, but I'm not gonna do like that. I'm just play until there's a line, then save the line amount. It's over here. Two. Oh no! Looks like I'm hitting for a diagonal. That's three dollars. I'm hoping I at least get a vertical. Horizontal's the best. I'll um use up all my money without any IOUs. And. Four. I'm in danger of getting two di diagonals, but I might also get a horizontal. Okay, let's hope I roll a three. And it's a six. Hmm, let's see. I'll put it here so that I got another chance of having a horizontal. And it's six, of course, not a five or a three. Let's see, no lines yet. Two, of course, a diagonal. Over here. Diagonals are $3. I'll have an IOU of $2. And I have the IOU cards right here. Uh, my mummy has one which is already written on. Um, Wait, these two are actually written on. I only have one left to use anyway. Oh, but this one actually already has a the number two dollars on it so we're just gonna use this i don't have to write anymore um so an iou two dollars and we'll put the remaining one dollar in and then we have the reallocating of the money that we took out, you know, the one from Follow Your Dreams and Open the Gift. This video is going to be a very long one. Did you hear the thunder? I'm not sure if you can, but it looks like it's going to rain over here. Okay, so which binder should we put it in? Okay, let's see how much money do we have. Okay, looks like we have... Um... Like we have two dollars, eight dollars, ten dollars, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got thirteen, thirteen dollars. That's quite a lot. Okay, let's add this binder because we always start with this binder. Um, we didn't give vacation any today, so let's give it two dollars. Which also means I need to cross out my savings challenge. Um, I'm going to run out of things to cross for $2, which is this ticket. So I might have to start um, improvising, compromising soon. I might have to cross out this one and put like a $1 next to it. I can fit the savings challenge in. Right there. When I put one side in, the other pops out. Okay, next. Gifts. Um, let's see how much money we have in here already. I think it looks quite a lot. Uh, not really, okay. Um, let's put one dollar inside. I'm, after all, we did already put one dollar today. Just now, so digital. Uh, I think digital is my most important why now that my toys is fully funded. Uh, most important because I can't wait to get a new phone. So I'm gonna put three dollars inside 
I mean, that's a lot, right? I only put one dollar and two dollars so far. So now we're gonna put two. Savings, um, savings. I guess savings is pretty important too. Although right now all I want to do is spend it. So I'm gonna put one dollar. Actually, you know what I could have done? Instead of reallocating the money into these spiders, I could actually play more games with these. But I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose because we took the money out of games only to put them back. But it would have been more fun, right? Um, toys. Uh, toys. We are, have already put a lot of money inside. I don't think I need any more. Oh, which reminds me, I spent $40 on a toy. Um, okay, I will get it. Um, actually, my mommy's getting it for me now. So, she, um, she's actually crocheted. So, um, it's like a doll. And so, usual, usually dolls only cost like less than $10. You know, those Barbie dolls or stuff. But this one was crocheted. Her clothes can actually be taken off. And everything was sewn on separately. So here she is. See, she. We thought like she was really pretty. I don't. I don't. I'm not like a huge fan of dolls, but like this one was pretty. Pretty. It's not like the creepy sort. And you see, her clothes can actually come off. I've taken it out a few times before. Not. I didn't take out the pink dress because it looks really hard to put back on. She has a bunny ear headband. And I just think she's really pretty. She's all crocheted, even her clothes and her hairband. So um, the table's running out of space and the doll's big. Um, I named her Alice. Okay, yeah, we'll put her there now. Okay, so books. Um, books, 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 let's see. Uh, so books nowadays cost range from at least Fifteen dollars to twenty dollars. So I'm okay. Let's let's just put money in books, okay? So I put two dollars and cross out the savings challenge. I keep like forgetting to cross out this savings challenge. And even though the savings challenge says fifty dollars when you're done, I mean I keep spending. And um, there was already money inside before we began this challenge. And I put $1 inside, but don't cross this out because it's only for $2. So there's a lot more money than actually than it actually says. But we use quite a lot. Even though you see like so many crosses, crosses. Not, it's, not, it's not a lot in there. Okay, first... Oh wait, I forgot to put the challenge back. Let's put it back first. Okay, stationery. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going back to school. Uh, the bookshop will once again be very tempting, but I'm not sure whether I should put any. After all, wait, I didn't put any just now, so let's put one dollar inside. I mean, I already saved up a lot over the holidays, so I don't think we need that much. The stuff there aren't that expensive anyway. Okay, snacks. Um... Let's just put the remaining three dollars in snacks. Um, besides the bottle of honey, I'm actually saving up to buy like these cheese crackers, which six packets of it. Um, is actually um twelve dollars, so that's very very expensive. I know I've got enough, but for me, the honey is slightly more important. We're running out right now. Um. Yeah, so I think honey is more important. After I buy the honey, I can use whatever stuff to buy the cheese crackers. Okay, so we're done with everything today. Um, El so Alice says bye. Bye. Her, hearts, her hands are hard to bend because they're crocheted, like I said. She's really hard. She's really hard. Okay, so bye.